collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the F from Sin. Today I'm reading for the beautiful, handsome collective. What up, collective? Hey, flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or to shop in the store. All that information is in the description box below. All right, so let's get into it. Channel message is that they wish death on you because you don't want them, okay? So, in my dream state, um, spirit took me, <sighs> spirit took me to the sea, literally. And I promise y'all, it was like a, 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 a depiction or a replay of Moses. Y'all remember or you've heard of the story where Moses kind of had part the sea to get to, you know, trying to get to the final destination or the goal. That's what I saw in my dream. We were standing on the beach or standing in the sea and there were other angelic beings that were there and um, I was just watching them. They were so bright. They were like a big, bright light. Like if you were to even try to come towards them, like you'll be completely zapped away. So I just watched from afar, just in like amazement of the things that they were doing. They were doing their little, you know, I don't want to say little, but they were doing their things. And um, they mentioned something. I didn't hear what they said, but I just heard. And then all of a sudden, I just saw, like, the sea, like, just part. And when I saw it, I go, I was like, yo. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> it was so enchanting. It was so mesmerizing. Because when the sea parted, that also everything that was included in the sea, all the sea animals, and, you know, that also parted, too. So all you saw was this big, it was like a barrier. And there was a barrier there um, between both sides and the angelic being, beings looked towards me and my spirit and went like this. <laughs> and I was like, I looked at my spirit, my spirit nodded at me. And then we kind of like, we didn't even walk. It's like we glided through. And this big form of light, it felt like protection. It could be water protection. So you could be working with water energies, okay? But there were there were uh, definitely huge signs of protection as me and my spirit kind of passed through this, like a passageway. Um, and as I was walking or more so gliding and I was looking into the sides, like looking in the water, like you could see the different, um, I saw uh, starfishes seahorses i saw crabs i saw octopus i saw bigger whales i saw sharks and they were just kind of doing their thing but they were more so as we were walking towards the end of it they started to get closer to us they didn't do anything they didn't harm us anything but i don't know i'm just going to take that as a form of protection here um but they wish death on you because they did not want you okay so this is a past x here Okay, and I just want to keep this in mind that they're still trying to do this, but they're going to fail. But you still need to know what's going on here. But um, they didn't like the fact that you, you know, you, you walked away or you moved away from them because you saw them for what they were. Again, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Okay. Um, Y'all got to remember a collective read is just that. It's taking bits and pieces of everyone's, you know, experience or reality and what spirit feels is best to speak or to say, 
That's what it is. Stop trying to put your foot in something that don't fit because over time, and I'm not saying this no more. This is the last time I'm saying it. Over time, if you keep agreeing to something that don't resonate with you or you unsure, what you're doing is you are telling the universe that you are in full agreement that this is exactly what's happening and it may not be. And then eventually you're going to start to have that play out in your reality. So you're going to be the person or you're going to be the reason why you're going through catastrophic events because you keep saying, oh, this mine, this mine, when it's not. Listen first, digest, and then pick and choose whatever, you know what I mean? Take your time. Don't rush because you hear something and, oh, yeah, it has to be me. Stop doing that. Because you're going to end up somewhere where you wish you have not, okay? Can't say I ain't warning you. That's my last warning. I ain't saying that no more. I'm not wasting my breath no more. So let's get into the reading. So let's see. All right. All right, we also have a key here. Oops. Someone is going to confess. Yep. Someone knows exactly what's going on in regards to this unhinged ex of yours. And someone is going to confess either to you or they may go to the police dis district and say what's going on here because it's it's just really it's getting out of control it's truly getting out of control so someone that is standing on the sidelines is fully aware as to everything that has transpired um against you and they're feeling really guilty about that they're in their mind a lot <clears throat> they're in their mind a lot um and they're getting ready to confess or reveal as to everything that's going on here somebody may like chocolate may love chocolate okay but we have i know so there are people that are aware of what has taken place with you they know what happened but they stay quiet but because it's getting too extreme to where this this unhinged karmic here is really trying to harm you because you don't want to be with them is like somebody is stepping in ace of wands so ace of wands is a penis energy so there's a masculine there's an unhinged masculine here um that does not want to see you go does not want you to have a new beginning here Everything is so dry and barren. You could be dealing with a fire sign or earth sign or even air. So either fire, earth, or air sign. Yep. Someone hate that you um, abandon them. I'm going to take this in both ways because spirits say do it upright and in reverse. So eight of cups here is more so abandonment. They hate the fact that you abandoned them. They feel very disrespected by you abandoning them or leaving them. But you had to do what was best for you and what you did was the best for you here. Also, we have eight of swords. I'm sorry, eight of cups in reverse. Um, they have a lot of abandonment issues. They don't like... They don't like the fact that you feel that you can leave on your own. Um, they feel like uh, you need some form of permission from them. That's just how they see you, how they view you. They feel like they have complete control over your life. And they feel like if you don't ask for permission, um, that it's just, they're not going to go for that. So this person is like seething, S-E-E-T-H-I-N-G. They're seething with a lot of, of abandonment issues, a lot of anger, repressed anger here, and they're taking it out on you because you decided to leave them in the dust here. So we do have the death card. So they have mentioned to someone com with community effort here, they have been working with people like your friends and your families and, and ex, ex friends, ex, you know, things like that. Ex friends, ex family, et cetera, et cetera, here to plan this death. That's what they were doing. They were also paying them as well, too, to spy on you so that way they can get information so they can set this up here. Of course, it's not going to happen, but I'm just letting you know this is what, you know, this is what they're they're thinking. 
all because you decided to move forward with the six of swords So someone that is watching from the sidelines here is realizing that you have been telling the truth since day one and they feel really bad for not listening to you because they're seeing how just how unhinged this this ex of yours and again it ain't gonna resonate for everybody but for ones that may have had an ex a friend whatever take it how it resonates but there's someone from your past here <clears throat> that's very upset about this um about the conflict that this this uh this ex is trying to wish on you or trying to cause on you here and it's going to be the five of swords in reverse it's going to be the ending of conflict someone is going to say something or someone is going to turn on this person that is trying to do this towards you here so you actually have so there was someone that did not believe you before and now they believe you. Now they're seeing, now they're able to see the truth from, you know, from, um, from the lies here. And they're actually willing to stand up for you behind the scenes. So you may not even be aware all this is going on here, but someone is actually standing up for you and taking charge. They want to fix the situation or they want to balance out the situation here because they realize you went through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Yo, all these cards keep falling, but even though they're falling, Spirit said, do not take them. So I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to take them. I'm just going to reset. Yes. Yeah, so you have an unhinged uh, deadbeat ex of the past that is stuck in the past and not letting go, regretting everything. They're not, they're not letting, letting you go. And they feel like the only way they can let you go is if you're six feet under and that's just not going to fucking happen because you got stuff to do. So you could do that return to sender though, return that death energy towards them and let them play hot potato with their energy. We do have the six of wands here and that's also in reverse. They're going to feel very defeated and lost because they do not expect, you know, whoever this person is that's watching on the sideline, they don't expect them to turn on them. But it's just, it's too much. It's just getting out of control. It's just getting out of hand because this person like eat, sleep and breathe you. It's like, um, you know, when you watch the movies, um, the like psycho movies and um, they will have like pictures of people and they'll have like red string from here. Perfect example. Remember the movie called One Hour Photo? That was with um, Robin Williams. Yes, Robin Williams. And he was a um, a photo developer. He worked in like a CVS or something like that. And he was a photo developer for the customers that would come in after they take their pictures. Well, he started to get really close to a family. It was a mother, a, a father, and a son. And he got really close to the family because he wanted to like kind of be a part of the family. And it was to the point he would start making like doubles or develop doubles of the pictures. And he would have it in his room. I think his name was Sky or Skyler or something like that. And he would have, no, his name was Sy, S-Y. That was his name, Sy. And um, in his house, you would actually see pictures of, you know, pictures of what they produced, the family had created. And he would have like this big wall with like red strings and he would have the tacks and all. And he was like kind of putting things together. It was like a real sick shit. Like this is what this ex, this this unhinged ex is on. They're like, they're, they're willing to stop it. They're willing to stop at nothing until they see this happen. But I'm telling you, it's just not. So you ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Somebody's eating pot roast or you want, um, uh, pot pie. It could be a chicken pot pie or beef, beef pot pie. If that's what you're wanting to make. That's what I'm hearing. <clears throat> discovery so someone that is watching from the sideline is realizing just how how unhinged just how serious this matter is as to how this person really truly is trying to like prey on your downfall and that's the discovery here and they're not going to stand by and they're not going to watch that happen they're going to assist you um 
quietly behind the scenes and they're going to um flip the narrative please don't ask me who it is book a reading or tap into your your own energy stop asking me personal questions on a collective read if you want to know you can go ahead and you can book a reading okay thank you we got explanations and apologies okay somebody may want to come towards you and apologize and explain um, that they did not know. And I, I truly hate that. I hate that people tend to, um, judge others by just the, you know, the vanity or the, the, the topical parts of a person and not truly get to know a person's soul first. Um, because everything is so surface level, just society in general, everything is just so surface level that people tend to miss out on good or great things based on how someone's looked or perceived. And that's exactly what happened here because this ex, this this unhinged ex here was saying some very vile things about you, some very negative things. And it made it to the point where people were actually believing this person and people were pulling away from you. Now that they're realizing that wasn't true and they're seeing, they can see from, you know, through the fall, they're realizing that this person, this ex person behind the scenes here is really the, the reason why all this is happening. They're causing a lot of trouble or attempting to cause trouble in your life. <clears throat> they even went as far as getting the insurance policy and all this weird shit, entanglements, complications, confusions, inner turmoil, conflicts, restrictions, and embarrassment ahead. And that's what's going to be happening for this uh, karmic here, is that they're going to be publicly humiliated. Publicly humiliated. <laughs> like, everyone is turning against this person. Everyone. Because, like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you in that kind of way? I'm hearing despicable, like people think this person is like really despicable for the things that they have been saying and doing behind your back. Like it's just pure hatred and just jealousy because you decide to move forward. You see them for the piece of shit that they are and they don't like that. Not only that you see them for the piece of shit that they are, other people see them for the piece of shit that they are. So they feel stuck. <clears throat> So we have new vision in life, discovery, focus, vision, memories, options, learning new skills and self-expression. So by you expressing yourself, i.e. speaking up and out for yourself, it is brought attention to you in a very positive way. Um, and because it's bringing attention to you in a very positive way, people are discovering like, okay, yeah, this person is or has been telling the truth since day one. Like I always say, you don't have to lie. I don't care how small the lie is. You do not have to lie. Just say what it is. Yes, that happened. No, that did not happen. That is okay. Because if you always tell the truth, the truth will always set you free. I don't care how long it's going to take. 5, 10, 15, 20 years. I don't care. But if you know deep down in your heart that you are speaking the truth, then that's all that matters. And your truth will always set you free. And I'm always going to say that. <clears throat> Like, there's really no reason to lie. Just say what it is. Yes, that's that. No, that's that. No, it's not. And people like to convolute the the, the truth because it's easier. If they think a, a lie is easier to maintain. To me, I, I just don't think that's true because a truth is easier to maintain. You don't have to remember what it is. You ain't got to, oh, I forgot it. No, maybe I thought, no, the truth is what it is. That, that's the truth, the raw truth. Versus if you're trying to tell a lie, it's harder to maintain a lie because you got to keep thinking of a lie to replace the first lie that you created. So it's just the way that some people think here. They feel that lies are more um, easier to maintain. And it's not clearly not because this X hinge is this this hinge unhinged X is just completely they're, they're going off the deep end because of the lies that they have been telling. So people are asking questions and they can't answer the questions that people have for them. It's a lie after a lie after a lie. Like I said, if you lie, you will steal. And if you steal, you may actually kill. I, I'm just got to, that's just how I see. And that's my viewpoint of how I see a few things. If you have to lie, you will steal. And if you lie, that means I can't trust you. I can't trust you. Because some people will just lie for the most silliest thing ever. And if that's the case, you need to stay far away from people like that. They don't mean you any good. 
like a simple question. Hey, is it hot outside? And you know it's hot outside, but you know it's cold and you know for a fact it's hot outside, but yet you want people to feel so deep, deep in their heart that it's cold outside, but when you open the door, it's hot outside. You see what I mean? People lie for the most stupidest and trivial thing, and that's why they always getting caught up in shit. Just tell the truth. You ain't gotta do all that. Just tell the truth. <clears throat> So we have sorrow, sickness, sacrifice, defeated period of mourning, letting go of someone important. So this karmic here, ex-karmic from the past here, is going through a lot of sorrow, a lot of sickness. Um, they attempted to sacrifice you, but that didn't work. Um, they feel very defeated. They're in a, a period of mourning and they are just very angry because it's like they had to let go. They feel like you're important, but they had to let you go. Remember that movie called Acrimony with um, Taraji P. Henson and I don't remember the guy, but the guy was um, trying to create some form of an invention or something to that nature. And Taraji was just always like, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Just basically just going against his goals and his aspirations. Like she was not very supportive of him. I don't remember how long it took, but let's just say, you know, five, 10 years or whatever. He finally got, you know, he finally was able to get his patent. He finally was able to do whatever it is that he wanted to do. He accomplished his, his dream, his aspiration. Before he, before he got there, they got a divorce because, you know, you need to get a job. You need to do this. You need to do that. Like she just did not see his potential at all. So they divorced. And after they divorced, he decided to, of course, move on with his life. You know, his newfound uh, um, path. And he was he was he got married. Well, Taraji wasn't she wasn't happy about that because she was like, well, I've been there through all these things and. You know, you just kind of left me high and dry and I deserve this and I deserve that. And if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I really do feel like he did give her some money. If I'm not mistaken, it's been a long time since I saw the movie. Um, but just overall, in a nutshell, she was just she felt so entitled to him, to his energy, to his money, to just everything. But she wasn't there for him when he was going through the trenches. And it feels like this is what's going on here for some of you guys. That whatever it is that you do, you know, you're nine to five, maybe you got a new position. Now, maybe you, you know, you're in entrepreneurship, whatever it is that you do for yourself, but you're doing it well. Basically, this person is seeing that and they feel they also feel some type of way because you left and now you're getting all this newfound whatever. They feel like you kind of left them behind. So they feel like the best way to do to to harm you is to unalive you. So this person is going completely ballistic out of control here and is in has um incorporated a group of dummies jackasses to more so um i'll say this uh to approve their in uh they're inferior to you it is what it is this karmic here is inferior to you but they wanted to feel superior to you they do not have control of their life. They do not have control of their emotions. They also don't even have control of their drug life. They don't have control of their sex life. They're just like, they don't have control of anything when it comes to self. They see that you do though, or you could be on the verge or you could be working towards working on a better you. And they don't like that. And they don't, they don't like that because it goes against everything that they have been saying negatively or adversely behind your back to other people. So it's not matching up to what they have been saying about you to other people. And this is why, and this is how other people are seeing the truth now. But that girl at the end in acrimony, I think she ended up hurting her husband. I think he passed. It's been, a, like I said, it's been a while. And I think the wife, they were on the boat at the end. And she became so unhinged. Like, she wanted to hurt the husband, the ex-husband. But the ex-husband didn't do anything. That makes sense. Like, she was the reason why 
all that was happening because of her um she just couldn't take no for an answer like even her friends try to you know help her out her family like hey y'all not together anymore just let it go leave it alone let's go do something and it was just crazy it was just really fucking crazy and this is how this person's acting they act like acrimony and people are seeing that and they have the key the vital information to stop this and that's what's going to happen it's going to be stopped Because all they keep thinking about, this is a trigger warning for some. All they keep thinking about is ways to unalive you. Like so many different things, like inside of their mind. All I keep hearing is the word K-I-L-L. -L. That's all I keep hearing. And then I see many different scenarios of ways that they feel like they can be successful with this. Like this person is fucking unhinged because you move forward. That's it. That's why you got to be careful who you, you know, who you come in contact with, who you have conversations with and stuff like that. Because everybody is just everybody, not everybody, but most majority of the world doesn't, um, they don't acknowledge or they have not. So maybe they don't even know. They don't acknowledge the, the um, shadow work issues that they have. This is like an ultimate supreme of narcissism. Independent when you're older, profitable business, security, wealth, dedicating time to something you love. And that's you. <laughs> you're dead. You're, what you're dedicating, dedicating time to something you love. You're dedicating time to you. You love you. You're going to be independent when you're older. So take that how that resonates. Profitable business or just your job. Take that how that res resonates. Security and wealth. And this person feels like you don't deserve that. <laughs> got to mention in my dream state so when we finally cross the um like when they open up the path for us and we cross to the end or to the opposite side there was someone that was lurking behind they were all black or it was like a shadow and they were trying to run across as well too but as soon as we me and my spirit stepped over to like the i guess the promised land because it was a big rainbow it had two big pots of gold um, then a big rainbow arch and then we just kind of walked across it was like all this celebration um confetti and cheering like a fanfare it was really nice and when i crossed over there um the whole the water just shoop, collapsed but the person or the shadow was lurking to kind of see when was the right time to come back in and as soon as i stepped over the water closed like the gates i guess and the person you know they, they weren't able, yeah, they weren't able to, um, to cross over. They were stuck. So we have, um, changes coming, opportunities protected from other people, safety, power, and authority, and new beginnings. And it's funny because look at this gate. It's so funny how this gate came out, which is double confirmation here. So like this person can't mess, can't intervene can't stop your flow can't fuck anything up excuse me but we do have excuse me we do have evil intense poor behavior guilty conscious doubtful corrupt and negative influence and this person has negative influence this ex this unhinged ex it has a lot of negative influence here um to try to get you to be like them corrupted and it's just not going to work <clears throat> So we have difficult situation that left an impression, okay? Basically like your life, your life story. You may need to defend yourself, excuses, traumatic experience, retaliation, and restlessness. So this is maybe how you're feeling. Some of you guys collective could be feeling that way. <clears throat> nine plus nine is 18 and one plus eight is nine, which is the end. So if you're feeling that way now, like if you're feeling helpless or hopeless that no one is like listening or... No one's not paying attention to you. Like you're going to get the assistance here because there's someone that is actually watching you quietly 
and they are they're disturbed by what they're seeing here and it's just it's like basically they have a heart and i just i do feel like somebody behind the scenes that you may not be aware of may actually come in and assist you Somebody could be listening to Nelly because I'm getting it's getting it's getting hot in here. So someone could be listening to Nelly. Burdens, resentments, anger, emotional baggage, secrets and lies, conflicted emotions, mental strains. And this person from this past is in this energy here. They feel burdened. They feel burdened by your success. They feel resent, resentful, or they feel resentment, anger by you moving forward and leaving them in the dust. And that's exactly what you should have done. <laughs> you did the right thing. They have caused so much trouble in your life. They're in so much trouble. And this is fated to happen in front of everyone to see. Everyone is going to see. And is going to pick up speed or momentum or endurance and this person is trapped into their own web here. People are going to see this person for what it is. People are going to see that this person has tried not just once, but numerous times attempted murder. Humanity is going to see, I'm telling you. Because this person feels like they have the power. They worked with your family. Some of your family members here, they're going down as well too. The soul is in reverse. And anytime that the soul is in reverse here, especially in this nature here, it just tells me that they, um, they're not living right. Like this tree has no soul. So they sold their soul to do this dumb shit. They sacrificed their life to hurt yours. Now changes are coming. If you look at a peacock and you know, when a peacock opens, opens up its feathers, it looks completely different. So like big changes are coming in positive for you, but negative for them. So it's going to be balanced. You could be dealing with a Leo or they could be a Leo here. You could be drawing strength if you have the strength to move forward or persevere through all of this. We also have the boar here as well, too. So someone is very aggressive, very aggressive of trying to stop you. And that's what's going to cause a loss to them. They're not going to get the justice that they think that they're receiving or they're going to get. They're not going to get it. And it's going to blow up in front of their face. Because they were they had a lot of people fooled with the intellect or more so i'm gonna just turn it this way you see all that smoke behind this person's head well they didn't want people to know exactly what they were thinking of you in a very negative adverse way so they lied about you to other people so that people can be on their side and people are realizing that you didn't do anything wrong to this person but just moved away just just walked away from this person they're realizing this person is very unhinged, very jealous, <clears throat> very malicious as well. So we do have rebirth in reverse. The truth is coming out. Oh, this is trust. But because I said truth and that's a Freudian slip, I'm going to take that. So there is no rebirth here because, you know, trust is in truth. If you trust yourself, you'll be, you should be able to tell the truth or the truth is in trust or trust in the truth. Trust in the truth. Um, hmm. people are trusting the truth or they're being aware to the truth and it's causing this person to not be in a rebirth you're at the end Expect lots of apologies and I'm sorry and da, da, da. I mean, that's up to you, however you decide to do that. But you're going to see a lot of people coming back trying to apologize for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. And, you know, I didn't know. And they, but they knew. They just didn't want to say. But I feel like the reason why they're speaking up now is because this person is true. Like, day by day, 
minute by minute, this is all they think about in regards to you. Like, this is all they think about. So we have wisdom and we have cleanse as well. So you're being able to cleanse from this purplest spirit and then wisdom here. You could be getting information from spirit. Spirit could be guiding you to stay away from this person. Um, we are in the full moon of Aries as well. The full moon of Aries starts today. Um, maybe you're receiving more, more information or you're getting enlightened wisdom from this full moon energy. Okay. Um, you could be work, working with a crone. Okay. You could be working with the mother crone. I'm also hearing Beltane, B-E-L-T-A-N-E. -E. Somebody really loves owls. Yes, listen to the messages that are coming to you because it, 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 I keep hearing it transcends many planes or dimensions is what I'm hearing. So pay attention to the signs that are coming to you here. Yep, rescue. Mm -hmm. Because of your authenticity. <laughs> You're being rescued because you've been truthful. It's like being authentic saved your life. Being true to you saved your life. We have judgment here. Like everybody sees. Everybody sees. Everybody sees what side of judgment you're on. And everybody sees what side of judgment they're on. And they're not liking what they're seeing. They're not liking what they're hearing. They're not liking any of this here. Because they had a lot of people fooled. They really did. A lot of people fooled. Like I told you, it was over a courtship. Over a connection. <laughs> They're in poverty. They're telling people that you're broke. You don't have anything. You can't keep anything. You're unstable. And that's not true. <clears throat> that's the message that they were giving towards the collective. Could be you, main female or main male. Take like, I resonate. But I'm just going by what the cards say. And they did not want this leaving the house here. They were also working with an immature woman, an older woman here too, to solidify that lie. They even said that you were sick, but you're not. Bad health is in reverse. They're sick. They're a false person. They knew what they were doing. <sighs> could have been a marriage as well. So you could have been married. You could, you're now divorced. It's a concern for this unhinged person. Because it was all about money. Concern. They did not want you to move forward. Because they did not want you to give to anyone else. They feel like you're only supposed to give to them and only them. This is why they created this big cesspit of shit. To make you look like the bad person. To make you look like the evil person. So that way they can feel on top of you. They were also throwing court cases as well, too, which is a huge message of concern. The courts are in trouble for the things that they have done here. 
Yeah, the court's going to have to, yeah. <laughs> Someone going to jail. Could be a, a physical jail or a spiritual jail. But the courts are in trouble here. Pathways are closed because of the despair. Yeah, courts are in trouble. <laughs> they going to have to surrender. and they, they, Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Someone's lie against you. Yeah, this lie spreads very wide and far. Very wide and far. There are a few organizations that are going to be in a lot of trouble based on someone's lie. Mm. And that's some serious heat. These org that's some serious heat. That's some serious heat. Man. They're not ready for this publicity. They're not ready for it. They're not ready for it. They're not ready for it. This, I'm telling you, these organizations, they're not ready for it because of someone's lie. Blatant lies. Someone's feeling really guilty. Someone that was watching from the side is feeling real guilty as to how this person has treated you. They blamed you, collective, for everything because you did not want to be in no kind of love, nothing, no relationship, no connection. You didn't want anything to do with this past, past person. And they wanted to force your hand because of that. So they instilled fear or they attempted to instill fear surrounding you um, to other people about you here. They told people you slept around. Health is in reverse. They envy you. They wanted you to feel lonely. <sighs> it's the things people do. <laughs> Somebody's making French breakfast. Like, um, I'm hearing boulangerie, a boulanger. Um, I'm hearing fromage. I'm hearing lots of things in French. So someone, it could be either going to France, you could be from France, or I'm also seeing, um, I just see a lot of French words. I see the French word for breakfast, le petit déjeuner. Um, so someone's having like a French breakfast or, a, um, Parisian breakfast, or you're having breakfast in Paris is what I'm hearing. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Joy and light. Okay. All right. Nice. I just keep hearing it's a celebration. <laughs> Y'all know I'm here for that. Yeah, karma. But it's good karma for you. So maybe somebody's going to Paris or okay. Okay. Because joy and light and karma came out. This is good karma. So this is the collective I'm speaking about here. You have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, look, celebration. <laughs> Gratitude. Somebody may take you on a trip to Paris because I have I love you. Somebody's deeply some somebody's deeply grateful for you. Somebody's watching you and they just they're in, they're in like in awe over you. This is a new person. They're in awe.
Yeah, so so this is like a happy ending, a happy story. Here, somebody's coming into union passionately, very very passionate, very loving, very patient, very sincere, very honest. I heard, I heard sternly, I'm not here to play games. <laughs> I heard, um, I'm here to love you. Love you the way you, sh you, you should be loved. That's what I heard. <laughs> well, Paris is known for love. Paris is a city of love. So take that out and resonate, okay? Yeah, this, I'm, look. Oh my God, every time I pull a card out, it just keeps confirming. We got beyond confirmation and key. And look, key. So someone could have been lying to someone about you from before and they got the clarity to know that you were telling the truth. Look, the Libra sign, see? The Libra scale... And it's so funny, right? This could be an angel in disguise, a blessing in disguise for you, collective. But look at the uh, the scale picture here. Only half of the truth is being covered or the truth is being covered. So the person that was lying about you behind your back here, they only wanted their, their lies to be told or, you know, stated. But... Yeah, look, you see them people in the, um, in the, see how these people look wispy, like foggy, so they don't really know what's really true or what's not. It's like this person here or this. This crowd of people are swayed or enchanted by what this person is saying. So this person may not be an angel. They may just have the um, depiction that they are because of you got speakers here as well, too. And a half truth is not the truth. Then they got this stick here for some form of foundation. If you look here, you see how his leg is? It's like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> I got this. Can't nobody, um, nobody figure this out here. These people could be on hallucinogens as well too, some kind of drug as well too, to alter the way they perceive or see something here. So this person is not who they say they are. They're not. And they're giving off the illusion that they're this good person, they're great, and they're not. Even just the way that he has his foot positioned on the chair. He's way too comfortable. That's the past person here. Not this new person. This is a past person. They're way too comfortable. Because if you look at music, music is a form of vibrational alteration. Yes, it can alter the way you feel. Music can. And this person is using not only music, they're using drugs as well too. Some kind of a hallucinogen here. Because these people are... are captivated by this smoky, wispy, foggy essence. So it's like this person is saying things and they're listening because with music speakers, you listen, right? And they got these people under trance here to listen to what they have to say, but they're surrounded by hallucinogens. Like even though it's, it's weed in here, just stick with me, okay? They don't, they do harder things than we they don't do we they do pills they they take pills they snort them yeah they try to offer you up try to offer you up and if you look closely here from like a little bit far out this looks like a heart with this the, the scale the libra scale
Someone's going to pass over a heart attack. <clears throat> Whoever sent this death magic out and is being reversed back, they're going to die from a, um, a heart attack. It's a masculine. They have no protection. Yep, this is alignment. Somebody healing is in reverse. Somebody is going to pass my heart attack. Freedom is in reverse for doing this. Restoration is in reverse. Wow. <laughs> There's a problem and everybody sees where the problem is coming from. The whole world sees where the problem is coming from. And this person is falling. This group of people is falling. Or it could be an actual fall, which we are in. Many changes, many changes, many positive changes are here. Many positive changes because people realize that this person was playing. You know, when you see a toy, people play with a toy and they were studying this person. This person was studying you, but others were studying them and they realize of what this person became or become and they're like very unhinged. So they're able to put the picture together or pair. So look at pair as like a form of a Bluetooth, right? Just stick with me. So when you are pairing a Bluetooth for the first time, it's going to ask you to where you want to pair, right? So it's like a connection here. So people are pairing or putting the pictures together to make, to see the bigger picture. And they, they now see the truth from the fake. Yes, a group of people that are speaking, yes, language, English, Spanish, whatever, however, French, Dutch, okay, et cetera, et cetera. They're speaking amongst themselves and they realize who's telling the truth versus who's not. It may have taken over five years, okay? But this person that was like doing things behind you, they were on your top. And they were coming in very hot. But they're going to get three hots in the cot because they're going to end up in jail. They're not doing so great because they can't stand on their own. A city, is, a city was falled. So this person was doing a lot to you in regards to city resources. Police districts. Uh uh D DHS, CPS, um, child protective services, um, what I say, school district, uh, all those big organizations. A mother could be involved in this, okay, doing too much. Wanted to keep you in a box. Didn't want people to see or to dive deeper. Don't want to go b below the surface here. Want to keep things a certain way. All that's being exposed. Like the body. Certain things may have happened with your body surrounding your mother. That's being exposed. Words in 
a word is more so like past tense. So things that did occur with your body, your mother has something to do with that. But this is past. So past experiences, past traumas. And it will be brought up by the state. Yeah, it will be. This is going to go really like far, like beyond. Yeah, change. Oh, no, that's vision. Neptune. Neptune represents like, um, like glamour. So people tend to glamorize things to hide something. But that's being, the, the glamour is completely like dissipated. It's, it's, everyone can see the vision fully. They can see everything truthfully now. And it's causing a lot of tension excuse me, because of it. Clarify clarity. Everybody see. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? See, expand. It could be a sad you're dealing with. They could be. But I just keep hearing, why would you do that? Like, why would you? Why would you do that? Like, for what reason? What's wrong with you in that kind of way? And this person feels so humiliated. Ain't that something? Because of, because of the perception of first house is identity or how people see you or view you so the perception as to how people see them has completely changed and it's making them very uncomfortable very uncomfortable very uncomfortable like they want a way out they want to exit all the things that they created all the bullshit that they have created now they just want to run away from it all because they can't face the music. I'm hearing the Powerpuff Girls. Somebody feels alone because of the changes. Yeah, people see them for the piece of shit that they are. Yep, a light. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Like a light has been shown, shown onto the situation now everybody see it like wow what the fuck like why would you do something like that what will possess you to do something like that in that kind of way and they can't take it they can't take it because it's blowing up in their face Somebody could be going to Japan. You could be Japanese. Okay. Somebody was acting crazy over WAP. If you know, you know. Okay. If you don't, leave it alone. All right. So, yeah, somebody. Um. So, we have PAW. PAW and WAP. So, somebody want to control over you, over your body, who you sleep with, who you don't sleep with. Like, they just felt like you only can sleep with them and only them. Job please. <laughs> um, 
I do have Keurig, K-U-R-I-G. Okay, so you may love coffee. Um, mm -mm -mm. People are gonna be puking behind this. Like, they're gonna be so disgusted. Like, what the fuck? Like, are you fucking kidding me? That kind of way. <sighs> Somebody is working from home. WFH, a work from home. This can also mean Wells Fargo. If that still exists. I don't know if their bank still exists or not. Um, yeah, like people are going to go ape shit over this. Like, yo, what the, f you know? They even got, they, I mean, this the, the, the diabolicalness of this person's mind. Like, they even tried to get someone to do this towards you. I'm not even going to say this. But they, they, they wanted you to be in the lowest of lowest because you simply moved forward. Again, just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Don't put your, don't try to fit or wedge yourself in a situation. You know, don't do that. Okay? Somebody could be from Kuwait. You could be Kuwaiti. <sighs> Somebody could be from Fort Worth. Somebody loves pears. Love, love, love pears. You may be playing an EA game, an EA sports game, or just an EA game in general. Embalming fluid. Someone is sinking. Someone sinking in their lies. Someone signed paperwork that you did not give them permission to. They did a lot of foul shit, bruh. A lot of foul shit. A lot of foul shit. Not only are they in trouble, these organizations are in trouble too. JP or JPay is a um is a system that they use for like jail. So if you have someone that's in jail, um, and you know, you can send money on their books and stuff like that. It's called JPay. Somebody's going to jail. This group of people are going to jail. <laughs> and I can't wait to wear they mugshot shout. And I'm going to wear that shit loud and proud. Watch. Somebody could be playing Zelda with Link. Somebody could be Cuban. You could be from Cuba. Someone is wanting to travel to Cuba. It's not going to happen. That's going to be banned. See, when people think like spirit not watching and they think they can get away, like how is it that you cause all this bullshit towards the collective? Now you're trying to run away. Cuba might be on the list. That's going to access denied. It's just not going to happen, okay? Um, somebody could be, somebody could go to Cookstown University. They're going to have to put this person in protective, um, protective custody. Yeah, this is bad. 
this is bad to the point where it may actually oh my god it may cause um like riots and stuff in the city wow yeah this is wow all from somebody lying I'm not going to say any more, but just, let's just say. Hmm. Civil, I hear civil unrest. Hmm. I'm tasting coconut rice. Somebody's making rice with coconut. That sounds good. Libra. Fifth house. Saturn. Fourth house, Uranus, Sag. Fifth house, Moon, Taurus. Leo, third house, South Node. Okay. So we got Gemini. Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, I'll do three more, Taurus, Libra, one more, Scorpio, okay? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time.